Welcome, followers of the channel. This is Phil Beck with your professional painter and decorator. Um, you remember a few weeks ago, or say weeks ago, it might be a few videos back, I did a, a YouTube short where I was um, briefly, within 60 seconds, showing you H2O liquid mask. And you're gonna go, what is it? Let's keep it brief. Let's keep this really, really brief, simple, video right it's a liquid masking tape you saw and the links there you saw me applying it you apply it to glass glazed doors anything like that uh, give it two coats you can brush it you can roll it you can spray it but i would say give it two coats because you need that build up of film and that's what it is i mean this is it's like a, a glue that dries to like a plastic that you peel off from the glass. But I said I'd come back after I've done that short and give you a bit of a recap on what the product is and actually what did I think of it. Am I happy with it? Is there problems with it? Could we improve it? I have to wait and see. Wait till the end of the video and then we'll do a bit of a conclusion. But I'm back on these windows and I'm gonna show you how it comes off. I've already done one, that way you can see it. I probably can't see it with the light coming through, but you'll get the idea. Right. This, when you, when you apply it, you've got to make sure your glass is clean and any surrounding wood or surface has been sanded down. That's to give it a key. Because when you apply this, you go on to that surround. So if I say these mouldings, you just go on to it slightly. Don't try and cut up to it, because the idea is, what you'll do is you'll cut round with the blade at the end, all the way around there, and then peel it off. Well, if you haven't gone onto that edge and that frame, you've got nothing to cut into for it to peel back. Does that make sense? Of course it does. So, what do you need? You need this. It takes 60, 60, I'll say 60 minutes, 30 minutes to 60 minutes, so 30 minutes to an hour to properly dry. And it goes on milky and it goes clear, like it's translucent, it's not stri It's not quite opaque, but it puts, a, it puts a coating on the surface you can't see through the glass. But you know what I mean. When it's dry, you can give it a second coat. So on a bit of a negative, and I don't want to call it a negative for this product because it's been very good to me, it's that waiting for it to dry because if you want to crack on, like I was doing these windows, I was spraying. So waiting 60 minutes for an hour for it to go off and then come back and give it another 60 minutes to an hour. You're probably losing two hours, aren't you? Depending on the conditions and the drying. Now, we've got cold weather outside. We've got snow. That's when we've done it. It's in March, February, March. We've got snow. The biggest problem I've come up against with this is condensation on the glass. Now, you've probably seen videos on the internet using this, and I'm going to tell you it's um, Wolver Strong. Wolver Strong is the brand. Now, you've probably seen videos of being used on internal doors. You know, if I got an internal door with glass, I'd be laughing. But do you know, because I'm doing it on an external window that I've got heating on, but it goes off, it's double glazed, which is good a lot of windows aren't double glazed but when I come in the morning they condensed up in the bottom corners across here so trying to get that on to dry quick enough for it to not not be then condensed up the next day it thins it out slightly in the corners but saying that I've been fine you could probably just see around the edges it's a bit crazed crozzled can you see it it's where it's gone a little bit thin with the moisture in the morning soaking back up into it. Conquer and accomplish, conquer and accomplish is that the saying? I don't know. <laughs> you wait your way around it, don't you? Sort it out. But no, I've got two coats on it dried and then I sprayed it. And again, because you've got that moisture and particularly with spraying, I could get an undercoat on within a few hours of getting a top coat on. But again, that moisture coming back to the, the room the next day with the moisture in the air was just letting it go. Yeah, you know what I mean. But saying that, not really any problem. I do say 
just clean your glass over first because when I was applying it, with it being a water-based product and you can wash your brush out with this, with water, I did notice over the glass some areas had got a little bit of sissing where there was either some spray polish or some wax or some greasy surface. So I'd probably say when you're dusting off and cleaning down all your surrounds, just wipe over your glass with a bit of meths just in case there's anything there. I did that because I got a little bit of overspray um, from spraying the ceilings. But that wasn't too much of a problem to me because a bit of meths comes off um, when you've got some emulsion. So um, I've spoke about it enough now. It's not bad. Let's see what it's like for peeling off. What do I need? Right, I need a sharp blade. I've got an Ulfa. Standard blade will do, but an Ulfa. At least you can actually snap off these to get a new sharp blade. And I've also got, I don't know whether you've seen these, because it's handy to have these. It's one of the two fussy blokes, and it's a window scraper. And you're going to go, what's one of those? Well, if you've got paint on your glass, you've got a window scraper. It's got a blade in it that is sharp. Don't drop it, or else you'll put a nick in it, and then you scratch your glass. But if you've got one of these, you can just clean your glass up if you need to. Um, another just bonus with this, it does, if you pull that bottom out, it does have a spare blade in it and then once you pull that out you can actually flick that open to get the blade out at the top or turn it round so you're not um, transporting it about in your pocket, in your toolbox with a sharp blade, it goes to a blunt blade. Right, um, let's, get, let's get one cut. So, should we go with this one? Right, go around the outside, carefully cutting it. Don't cut into your paint that you've done all the way around and I can actually see a bit of condensation coming now oh, hey hey all the way around make sure you've cut it through and just get the blade there straight into the middle pull it away and look at that can you see me mother comes off as easy as that but I have got a little bit of residue that just wants tidying up at the edges that's why I've got this so just go around check anything that's still on the surface particularly if it has crept through and then just get your dust brush dust it off get it all out and I would say if I can zoom in on you zoom in for you it's not bad is it? Can you see me? I'm going to do the one next to it. Same again. Just cut around the edges. All the way around. All the way around the top. Pierce it in the middle with your blade and then just pull it away. It's actually as easy as that. Now time wise, I said about the 60 um, minutes drying for it to set. Could you go around with a piece of tape and some paper quicker? Depends how good you are at taping. Depends how good you are at taping. I'm not bad at taping. But for ease of not having to cut little pieces of square paper up, that is ideal. And once it's on, you can spray over it. And actually, if you spray onto it, you can um, have a thicker... Well, look. I'll call it a thicker piece of vinyl, whatever you want to call it, to pull off. It's like that. It comes off clean. So what do you think? Have you used it before? Would you use it? Litre can. How much? Got it off Amazon. Same day delivery if you've got Prime. Um, about £32. I've got two windows in this bedroom like this, and I've got a single window in the ensuite. Very similar. Um, sizes, they're all the same size. 32 quid, I've used not quite half, nearly half, not quite. And I've also done the glass that's in the bathroom ensuite that's got a little bit of a texture to it, not too much, and it still came off all right. But I will give a thumbs up for that, quite pleased with it, and uh, I'll be using it again. The beauty of this is, over some of the other ones, it is a two-in-one primer. So if you do get it on any bare wood or surface area, and that's why it says clean it down and sand it off first, it doesn't matter, it primes it. Make sure you trim around the outsides. If you don't trim around the outsides and you just pull and try and get it off in one, 
you might find that where you've got the solution on the edges, fatty edge creeping, it'll probably pull that off as well and you don't want it to do that. So all in all, impressive. It's clean lines and with that two footy blokes, window scraper, you can just neaten up anything that might be a bit tatty. Saying that, some videos there. Enjoy.